Melindy Lovett is the Senior Vice President and President of Education Technology for Texas Instrument. Ms. Lovett is the Senior Vice President of Texas Instrument and President of the company's worldwide educational technology business, which focuses on market-leading educational technology to improve teaching and learning of math and science. Previously, Ms. Lovett was the Vice President of the company's Human Resources Organization, where she was responsible for Texas Instrument's worldwide compensation and benefits program. Ms. Lovett has established and leads an an initiative of women who work for Texas Instrument, Instruments Women who are working to improve math and science education for girls in elementary and high school. Thank you for the opportunity to be here to testify on this important topic. TI has a critical interest in the development of science and engineering talent and our education technology business is focused on math and science student achievement. American innovation is a top policy priority for our company investing in basic research, welcoming the world's brightest minds, extending the R&D tax credit, and most importantly for the long term, improving math and science education. I want to talk with you today about TI's STEM workforce needs, our education efforts, some of which we're in the process of scaling, and some specific STEM policy recommendations. Horace Mann defined education as the great equalizer. And STEM education is the new great equalizer for today and for our future workforce. At TI, STEM skills are needed from entry level all the way through our engineering ranks. Semiconductor manufacturing is very complex, integrating billions of transistors on a tiny piece of silicon. And our manufacturing employees do use their math and science skills every day. The electrical engineers who design and develop the latest chips are our lifeblood, and a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering requires three modules of calculus, differential equations, linear algebra, statistics, and applied math. In 2007, half of the master's degrees and over 70% of the PhDs in electrical engineering from U.S. universities were awarded to foreign nationals. TI strongly supports bipartisan legislation to exempt advanced STEM degree recipients from U.S. universities from green card quotas. And thank you, Chairman Miller, for co-sponsoring this legislation. GI's education efforts focus on STEM excellence and equity, reaching out to women and underrepresented minorities. We emphasize student achievement and measurable success that can be replicated. Our programs support closing access and achievement gaps as well as accelerating the most talented students to achieve their full potential and fuel world-leading innovation. TI works with policymakers, education stakeholders to pilot, implement, and then scale education programs such as early childhood education, high school engineering education, and advanced placement incentive programs. TI's education technology business is focused on improving math achievement for all students. Research provides the roadmap for the creation of all of our products, and we conduct ongoing effectiveness studies for products that are currently deployed in classrooms. I want to highlight a couple of TI initiatives that we're now working to scale. One is a policy framework called Finding Common Ground, and the other is an algebra readiness and algebra program that we call Math Forward. We recognize that a divisive issue in math education had to be addressed, and that's the dispute over conceptual understanding versus computational fluency, also known as the math wars. Richard Shar, a PhD mathematician and former head of TI's education technology business, worked closely with experts across the spectrum of views to publish Finding Common Ground, highlighting key areas of agreement. Too many students today are un unknowingly making a middle school decision that could limit their access to college, a STEM career, or a 21st century job at any level. All students in America should enter high school algebra proficient, or at least algebra ready, with all of their career options open to them. Our interest in addressing algebra readiness and algebra rigor led us in 2005 to work with Richardson, Texas School District to create Math Forward. It's a systemic intervention program grounded in research and aligned to state standards. Math Forward consists of eight integrated components, including extensive use of formative assessments and ongoing teacher professional development. The program has successfully raised the passing rate and test scores 
of students who previously failed state math assessments at rates far exceeding the control group. The first program was launched with a student population that was largely African American and Hispanic and mostly from economically disadvantaged backgrounds. Math Forward has assisted in closing the achievement gap in math from double digits to single digits for these groups. TI has, a, has implemented additional Math Forward sites in Texas, Ohio, and Florida that are also successfully improving student achievement. With Finding Common Ground, TI's policy work brings a way to move past the math wars. We support the algebra readiness and algebra rigor recommendations from the math panel, and we have real life classroom experience with Math Forward to know that these, method, these methods can work to help all students succeed in algebra. In conclusion, business, government, and education need to keep working together to address these challenges around STEM education. TI urges Congress to fulfill the promise of America Competes by providing key funding for STEM education. Particularly, we would like to see it targeted to algebra and algebra readiness. Of the $3.1 billion spent in federal STEM programs, only 1% today is dedicated specifically to K-12 math. TI also encourages Congress to reauthorize NCLB while protecting the integrity of the original law. Finally, TI will continue to work with policymakers and math education stakeholders to scale proven initiatives that accelerate STEM education and the goals of NCLB, ensuring all students develop the essential math literacy needed to enter STEM fields and succeed in a 21st century job. Thank you.